Welcome to Two On Builds. I'm Ryan Zeldenrust. Everybody calls me Z. You can too. And today, we're gonna make something ridiculous. We're gonna take this piece of scrap, we're gonna throw it on the CNC machine, and we're gonna make a jig to make it easy to put feet on the bottom of cutting boards. It's gonna be ridiculous, but it's repeatable, and I don't have to make a jig every time I wanna do this. Let's get started. But I wanna get into making this. Right now, what I use, I use Vectric software. I'm gonna use Vectric Pro here to show you how I do it. So, let's jump into it. All right, so here we are in the, in the Vectric Pro software. And I'm gonna do Preview All Toolpaths. And there it is. That's what it's gonna look like. So. What I do like to do is I like to close out, and I like to go to this spot right here, the summary of all tool paths, including estimated times. Let's click on that. That's great. I don't have any problem with a 15 minute jig. So now that we've got this done, we're gonna take this piece of wood, we're gonna slap it on the CNC machine and cut it all out. Here's the finished product. What I didn't show on camera was I took these three holes and I put a little chamfer in them uh, just to make it a little easier to put the drill bit in when we drill holes. But here's what it looks like. It's all cut out, a little notch where the corner slides into, and this is the cutting board. So what we want to do is we're going to take that cutting board and we're going to flip it over and we're going to put the holes in the four corners. And that's where this guy comes in. It slides right over the corner, just like so. And we take our drill, and I want this to be one inch away, so it's, you can see it's, it's locked in on that corner pretty good. And you just hold it there. And I'm just going to drill in. Here's that little hole. We'll take one of these little feet, the screw in there and just drill it in nice and slow don't go too fast um, it may strip out the hole you may want to use just a regular old screwdriver like this to tighten them up once you get them started just so you don't strip out the wood and then have to drill another hole and that's a whole big mess so I'll finish up this board and show you what it looks like And, well, there you have it. It's got the feet on. It was nice and simple. It's nice and repeatable. I have 20 more of these to go, but it makes life a lot easier. If you like this little jig I made, Tell me in the comments that you liked it. Tell me what you changed about it. Let me know. And like I said, it, go download your free plans. 
They'll be on my website, just a matter of time. I'll probably have the video up before I figure out how to put this on the website, but they will be on there for free. You can download them at some point. And uh, also, if you got some value out of this content, please like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can get future uh, content from me. I really do appreciate it. It makes a big difference to me when you do. So please do that. And don't forget to go get your free plans. All right. Go be great. Oh, and watch whatever video they throw up here, wherever it is. Go be great.